I want to do a quick video on how you can remove baseboards. So what you want to do is you're going to need a few tools. You're going to need a hammer. You're going to need a pry bar, uh, something that preferably has kind of like this um, kind of flat, um, wide kind of design, um, and a razor knife. Um, might be also good to have a putty knife as well. Always comes in handy. So what you want to do first is there's usually a line of caulking that goes along uh, the top there. And so what you want to do is take your razor knife and cut all the way down along that section. So I'm just going to go cut that out. Okay, so that's been cut. And then this part's a little tricky because you wanna be sure you don't uh, damage the drywall when you're doing this. You wanna try and get some space in there so you can start kind of uh, getting it away from the wall. So it's a little tricky because um, sometimes it's pretty, it's on there pretty tight. So I'm just kind of like seeing where I can get the most travel away from the wall here. There we go, starting to come up a little bit. And I'm gonna grab a putty knife. See if I can slip that in there. Okay, all right. So I got, got it in there, I'm gonna take the hammer and hit it in there a little bit. Just like that. What I'm gonna do, just kind of ease that out. Now I don't want to pull too hard because I don't want to put a hole in the wall here. So I'll just kind of ease it a little bit. I'm going to slide down a little bit, a little bit more. Slide over, the same thing. You don't want to force anything because you don't want to put a hole in the wall. A little bit stubborn. Just keep working at it. Okay. So you can you can push both ways. You can push down, but you can also kind of push up a little bit. That'll kind of like push it away from the bottom. So kind of like go both ways a little bit. Just keep working it. go keep going down it'll start to get a little bit easier as things start to come out um, another good idea is to cut the caulking in this corner here so I'd cut that out Keep going. Okay, and come down here. And it's just nails holding it in. It's not screws or anything, generally speaking. So it should come out. It just takes a little patience.
we go. So at this corner down here, I don't know if I'm in frame, but this corner just came apart. It's just cracked. So um, there we go. Starting to come out here. There. So I just pulled out my first section there. Sometimes it'll break. I'm trying to keep it in one piece so it'll come out here. Okay. To make this a little bit easier, this is a um, called quarter round. There's a, there's a baseboard here and there's this little section here. This is quarter round. It makes things a little bit easier. I think I'm gonna just pull that off first to see what I'm working with here. So that will show them come off a lot easier. Just like that. And there's caulking on there too. So if you can't see what you're doing, let's cut it. Be a little bit more forceful with this because I don't have to worry about the drywall and the floor is getting replaced. So it doesn't matter. Cut it again. There we go. Okay. So all the quarter round is removed. Um, there's, I think that's why I was having trouble getting this baseboard off because there's, it was hitting the, the floor here a little bit and I was stopping it from coming out. So that should help it stay put. Or actually not, <laughs> should help it come out. Let's see, I'll fix my microphone here. And just continue. And if you can find, if you can find a stud somewhere in here and pry against that, you can get more leverage without busting the wall. So if you can find that, that's super helpful. See, there's more resistance there. So I know there's a stud there. So I'm not as, as concerned about putting a hole through the drywall. This is getting a little tricky, so I'm going to try something a little different here. And get underneath. There we go. So what I did there is I hammered this down underneath the wood and pried it up to get it above that floor level. So now it's coming out a lot easier. So I'll do the same thing down here. See if I can get under there. See, it just pops right out then, easy. Starting to come up. Let's do the same down here. Let's see if I can get this to lift up. There we go. Do it again down here. Okay, that should just 
just about do it. There it goes. Okay. Be patient, it takes a little bit of time, but that's how you remove a baseboard.